Hi guys, it's Connie from Pixality Design, and today I'm excited to share with you the new integration that Squarespace has with Acuity Scheduling. So Acuity Scheduling is one of many online schedulers, but it's my total favorite for independent business owners. So yoga teachers, personal trainers, therapists, anyone who works one-on-one -on -one with clients or just small group stuff. This isn't really for studios, the one-to-many class sign-up. Um, scenario, but um, for independent teachers, independent practitioners, um, this is a great scheduling platform. And I've used it with clients in the past, and it just has a lot of lot of features. It's very easy to use. The interface is great. So I was really excited to see that Squarespace um, had a little partnership with them. And so if you have a Squarespace website, you actually get this first, this emerging entrepreneur plan, which is normally $10 a month. You get it free for use on your Squarespace website. So that's that's really cool. Squarespace did a good job negotiating this deal. So I'm going to show you what this looks like in practice and then how to get it set up and get started booking online appointments right on your website. So we're going to look at Ash Lauren Yoga. Um, we're going to see how um, we've got it set up on her site here. So this is the end result. This is what we're going for. She has a page on her site that's called um, slash make an appointment. And this is the new acuity block in scheduling. So you can see how nicely this is laid out. I just have one um, her private yoga single sessions um, in here. But if she had more than, she's got packages and a lot of other services that she does too. So if I had more than one loaded in this appointment, there'd be a drop down menu and your um, client could choose what session or what package that they wanted um, to book. They would choose the time and this, um, we set in Ashley's availability. So the days and the week and the time that she has. And you can also sync your availability with your Google Calendar or um, any other um, or a lot of different calendar integrations that you have. So it can sync automatically with your own personal calendar, which is really cool. So then as the client, I could come in and choose I want a private yoga session. I could choose that I want it at 9 a.m. on Friday, and then I would put my information in. I would get a confirmation. Ashley would get an email. I would get an email. And then I would also, as the client, get a link that if I needed to reschedule that, I could do that all automatically. So Ashley's not having to manage everyone's calendar for them and make corrections as it goes. So this is really handy. Some things I don't have set up on here, but that Acuity does have the capability for. You can set up coupon codes. Like I said, you can do packages. You can do gift certificates. You can do um, actually billing on here, and we'll get that set up also um, connected so you can process payments through like PayPal and Stripe. Um, there's just a lot of capabilities you have in um, with Acuity scheduling. So let me show you how I got this on her Squarespace website to begin with. So we'll just go to... Um, we're going to go down to the not link section. I'm going to just uh, forget this page. I'm just going to show you how to make a new page that's like this. So we're going to go to the not link section. I'm going to press the little plus sign and create a brand new page. And whether you want this linked to your navigation or not um, is, is just a lot about how your workflow and how much you want to screen your clients. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit at the very end of this video. So we're going to start with a blank page. And we're going to come up here and we're just going to choose a little insertion point. And then we're going to go down to the new acuity block. So it is down in the more section, right underneath the map icon, do a couple below the spacer, and it just says acuity. So we're just going to hit acuity. And then it's going to bring up this um, demo content acuity block here. And it's asking for your acuity URL. So the very first time that you go to put this in, you're going to click the sign up for acuity scheduling link right there. And then it's going to bring you to a page that looks like this that actually says um, welcome Squarespace people accept your invite and sign up now so you're going to click that button and then you're going to be into the back end of Acuity with your brand new site um, getting going they have this little helpful welcome guide up here so you just step through these things I already did some of them for Ashley but you're going to set up your calendar availability so you're going to put in the days of the week that you're available and the times that you're available what days you don't then you're going to create your appointment types so I created one here. You just go plus sign, new type of service. And then you can put in the name of it, the duration of it, the price for it. And then you create appointment type right there. So you can do that for as many different packages that you have. Um, you can also do add-ons right here. And you can do coupon codes here as well. And then you're going to go to the sync with other calendars page. I'm just following along the welcome guide up top. Um, Acuity does a great job of stepping you through how to get this set up. So just, just follow along and fill out the information as you go. 
Um, so then this is calendar syncing. It can sync to your Google Calendar, like I mentioned, iCloud, Outlook, um, one-way subscription, uh, various different calendars. So that's pretty handy if you're using one of those for your personal calendar. Okay, and then if you just want to book appointments, you don't want to worry about processing payments through this system, then all you're going to go do is go to the left side, the sidebar here, and go to client scheduling page. And then your link, your unique link for your Acuity account is going to come up. So you're going to copy this. And you're going to go back over to your Squarespace website and you're just going to put that Acuity URL in there. And then you're going to hit apply. And then it's all embedded right on your website. So that's pretty handy. And when you go back in and you, if you go back into Acuity and you add new stuff, it's going to automatically update on your website. You don't need to copy and, that paste, um, copy and paste that link more than that one time. So some other things in Acuity you might want to look at. You can customize the appearance of that scheduling page. If you want to um, change what um, day the week starts on, you can make some custom messages there. You can change the color. We've got this to black right now, but we could change that to match your branding, which would be a good idea. You can change the font even that it is to match your website. So um, options there for actually changing the way that this page looks on your website. You can also go to the appointments page right here and you'll see the actual appointments that you have booked out the time you have booked out and then you'll see when people have scheduled appointments and when they have um, rescheduled them. In the business settings section, this is where you can add intake form questions here. If you want to ask them questions as they're booking an appointment, you can add packages and gift certificates. Um, and then this one down here, this payment setting, this is going to be an important one if you want to uh, collect payments as they're making um, an appointment. So if you go back to here, if we have a payment processing set up, there would be another step here where they would actually have to enter payment. So if you accept payments in person, then, then that's not really for you, but you can accept it online as they're booking an appointment too, which is a good option. So you have choices to set up, um, link your payment so that it goes to your Stripe account, uh, Square, PayPal, both Stripe and PayPal, Braintree, Authorized.net. There's a lot of different options there. Stripe is probably the easiest, especially if you already have a Squarespace account you're, and you've um, accepted payments on there. You have a Stripe account already, and then PayPal is also pretty easy. So you just connect where you want your money to go here in the payment settings, and then um, you'll be able to collect money with this too. So I'm not going to be able to go through the entire Acuity scheduling, but wanted to give you an overview of just all the capabilities it has and all the different options you have to customize it to work with your workflow. To finish off, I want to go back to ASHA's site and just talk about the workflow that someone might do as an independent practitioner to get people to this page. So we have her make an appointment page down and not linked. It's not live on her site. It's not something that's going to show up in the navigation, and that's intentional. So the way that people get to work with ASH is they start with their contact page. They do a very basic, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm um, interested in this type of service that you provide. So then Ash gets this email in her inbox, and she can see, find out a little bit about the person. She can research them, find out that they're you know, a real person, that they're in their area. She can do a little internet spying on them and just make sure they, they sound like a legitimate lead. And then she sends them a link to a, another intake form, which is in the not link section, which goes into a lot more detail, which asks them a lot of questions about their health and what they're struggling with and what they've tried before and what their goals are, just to get an idea if they are a good match for her private yoga instruction. So after they fill out that form, she's got even more information on them, and then she can schedule a consult call with them, whatever you want to do to screen this client. I mean, that's kind of important if you're working one-on-one -on -one with somebody in a private setting is you want to be able to screen them for security reasons. So she gets all this information. Once she goes through whatever screening process she has and she decides, okay, you are a good fit. Let's do this. Let's set up some private sessions. Then she emails them the link to this make an appointment page and says, you know, I'd be happy to work with you. You can schedule your appointments here and purchase your package here, whatever. And it's, it's all done on this, on this um, page. So that's her workflow. You, you have to go through a couple screening processes in order to get a link to her calendar. And that's generally what I recommend for independent practitioners. You just don't want anyone to be able to hop on your calendar um, and book your time without you deciding if they're a good fit and if you can help them or not. 
So some, some businesses that you might want to have this out in the open and just actually have this make an appointment page linked up in your main navigation so everybody can get on it. If you work in a physical um, studio, so you have certain office hours, you're a massage therapist, um, you do private yoga instruction, but in, within a studio when you're there certain hours of the day, personal trainers who work at a gym um, and you want to book private appointments, yeah, absolutely. If you're in a public place and someone can just book an appointment and pay and come in, um, that would be a good scenario for you to have um, the scheduling widget just out in the open on a main navigation page so that they don't have to go through those screening processes. So um, you can just decide whichever method works best for you, whether you want to keep the link to this appointment page until you've had a chance to figure out who this person is or if you just want to make it available um, on, your, on your page, especially if you have a brick or mortar business and just make it easy for people to schedule with you. So um, I hope that helps everyone just get going with Acuity scheduling. Again, I think this is a great deal that Squarespace has struck with Acuity because they really are kind of the top of the line of online schedulers for one-to-one -one appointments. Um, so the fact that Squarespace worked a deal so that you get their basic plan free, that's a $120 value. That's just really, really great for people. So anyway, get out there, set up your account, and start online booking. Mm -hmm.